I wanted to provide a quick introduction to the HP 12C financial calculator. Now I made a number of um, videos for the HP B2 Plus financial calculator and it was brought to my attention by a friend of mine that that is not approved for the CFA exam. I'm rather surprised because the 12C is actually a more sophisticated calculator than the B2 um, financial calculator by HP. The other one that's approved for the exam is the TI BA2+. Plus. Now they may have changed that, but I thought I'd do a, a couple of tutorials on how you use the 12C. And the 12C is a little bit different to use because it uses reverse Polish notation, RPN. This was uh, um, discovered or proposed by a Polish mathematician, and you input the numbers differently than we're used to doing it. Um, there is a 12C Platinum version that has the RPN and the algebraic modes as well. So if you happen to look at this calculator here, um, you'll see there's no equal sign. There's plus, there's minus, there's times, there's divided by, um, and there are a lot of financial functions and statistical functions, but there is no function for equals. And we're used to writing, for example, 4 plus 5 equals. So how would you put that in? And why do they use reverse Polish notation? Well, reverse Polish notation allows us to do a calculation like this without using um, parentheses. So the way you're going to put these numbers in is like this. So we turn it on first, and we're going to put 4 enter 5 plus, and that's 4 plus 5. Now, we also want to multiply it by the sum of 6 plus 2. So we're going to say 6 enter 2 plus. All right, we know that's 8, and if we hit the times key, it now knows to multiply this 9 plus 8. We didn't have to use parentheses. It's a much more efficient way for putting in the information. The same holds for this calculation here, 10 minus 4 divided by 8 minus 6. So let's see if we can try that one. All right, 10 enter 4 minus, all right, so we know that's 6, and then 8 enter 6 minus, and then we can divide by that, and we get essentially 6 minus um, 2, and we get 3. So it works perfectly, and it's much more efficient. Okay, it's a little tricky to learn because most of us are not used to putting in uh, calculations like this. You know, most calculators work 3 plus 2 equals. Um, the HP and certain versions of the HP don't work that way, especially ones for engineers. And let me show you a couple of other things that you may want to use before I um, go into some videos that show you how to use some of the financial functions, if you want to change the number of, number of decimal places, okay, here we have two, you just hit function and the number of decimal places. So if you want four, now you see four decimal places. If you want six, you can do that. Um, so this is a little bit of, a little bit different from the HP uh, two calculator, B2 calculator. Okay, some of those are, are a little bit different in terms of how you change decimal places. You don't have to put three enter four plus, doesn't work that way. So um, for those of you who may be using this calculator, um, you need to get used to this. Okay, once you get used to this, you know, it's quite a nice calculator. It works very well, it's quite sophisticated, um, but it takes a little getting used to.